Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Last time I did part of the breeding stuff, but then we ran into a snag when the Archocobo was the wrong gender. Well, this was the correct gender! So there! I've also done all of the races off screen because, man, that takes a while. Um. So, anyway. Conveniently, the Materia Cave for this guy, or girl, rather, is right here. Over the course of many years, Macro Energy crystallizes into Materia. HPMP swap is really freaking useless. But we got it! Yeah! Check it out! Yeah. Also, I have sneak attack. Um... I think what this does is at the start of a battle, you have a chance to use whatever thing it is junctioned to. Uh, I won that in the Chocobo races. It is one of many materia you can win that way. Uh, incidentally, I highly recommend you come and do grab this before fighting Ultima Weapon. Because once you beat Ultima Weapon, Ruby Weapon, the other post-game super boss shows up in this area. Uh, yeah. On that note, on that note, I think this is actually a good time to go and fight Ultima Weapon. Uh, instead of breeding gold chocobos. Uh, yeah. I mean, it is. So, there you go. I just need to find the damn thing first. Now, at this point of the game, Ultima Weapon should mostly be going back and forth between the Crater and Midgar. Mostly. That doesn't necessarily mean I'll actually find him in either of those places. But, well... 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 Really, I've taken a break from one time-consuming thing to do another. Although, in fairness, I don't need to do any more time-consuming parts of the Chocobo stuff. I probably will end up doing more races with my gold Chocobo, simply because it's a good chance to get some items in GP, but it's not really necessary at this point. What is necessary, though, is finding that freaking weapon. I'm really feeling that render distance right now. Let's see, last I saw it, it was flying off, like, around here somewhere. You know, maybe I should just, like, cut until I find it. <laughs> that, that might be for the best. Oh! I saw it! And it's still flying around. Stop flying around already! Well, I guess we'll just chase it until it lands. It is, it is actually legitimately, can be pretty tedious, hunting this asshole down. But we're gonna do it! Yeah, he just flew straight into us. Because we do need to wait for it, it to stop, unfortunately. And it does those right angle turns all the freaking time, which is so annoying, because the airship does not turn like that. Not if you want to see where you're going, anyway. Uh, no. Don't, don't land. I'm ramming into it, but I'm pretty sure that's just a waste of time. As far as I know, that has no impact on its, you know, stopping. I mean, I feel like if it flies into you... Actually, no, just straight up. I feel like you should be able to fight it by running into it, regardless of whether or not it hasn't been moving around at, at the time. Because this... this is just plain tedious. Waiting for it, it to stop somewhere so that I can battle it. I mean, sure, give it a head start, but after I fight it and it runs away, that would be fine. 
But once I find it, I should be able to just battle it. Oh, I... Sit. Come on already! I know that I... I'm gonna need... And the worst part is, I'm gonna need... I know I'm gonna need to chase it down at least one more time after this. Because... The final place you fight Ultima Weapon will always be in the same place. Uh, and it is not in that place. Not even close. Ah, <sighs> sigh. Flying in a straight line now? What? Okay, it's hovering over Gondola now. Well, I'll take it! Uh... Right, do that. Do... That. Do that. I really wish I had my she- Oh! Actually, that, that wasn't so bad. How much HP does White Wind heal? Do you... No, you don't even have White Wind. Get with the program. Uh... You don't have White Wind either? No, there it is. Ah, eh, we'll try it. I'm just thinking, because I... Cure will be blocked by the Mighty Guard I threw down. Okay, that was totally blocked as well. Uh, you know, let's throw down Regen. And then let's summon... Do I want to summon Bomb at zero? Uh, <laughs> let's summon Alexander. I think. Hmm. I did this wrong. I could have mimicked Alexander. Oh well. What you gonna do? I mean, at least it deals a lot of damage. But I could have dealt that much damage. To oh, and he's taking off. So, that battle actually just reminded me. I forgot to do something. Uh, speaking of head starts. Right. So, the other thing I did between episodes is this guy now has his penultimate limit. Uh, no! So it's time to teach him the power of high win! Achievement get. Uh, we're, he's gonna keep him our party though because I actually want to use him against, uh, against Ultima. Uh, speaking of, I also want to go, you know, heal. Because if the next battle of Ultima is the last one, then... Well, it's probably best to go at it with full life. We'll, we will soon see, though. I mean, hopefully it is, then I'll just find him in his full pilot! Cool. What was I saying? Right, hopefully it is the last battle, and we'll just find him in his... No, he's totally not here. I was really hopeful, because, first of all, he clearly ran away as a cue to my dealing too much damage to him, and second of all, he was right in this area, which is the area where where you fight him for good. Um, but no. No, he's not here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to actually set this. Okay, where did you go this time, you bastard? 
Hmm. Okay. You are not around Northern Crater. You are probably in the Midgar area again. If I had to guess. I mean, you do seem to gravitate to... Oh, yep. Called it. I'm back here! That really does send you back quite a distance. Depending on the angle, I'm pretty sure it can knock him straight out of the uh, render distance. Not that that's saying much. This game really needs a better render distance. I mean, obviously it has to cut off at some point, but it is just so stupidly short. Right, you know, I think we'll just I think we'll just cut off here until he's ultimate weapon stops again. Save myself a little bit of trouble. Although he seems to be flying in a straight line once more. So who knows? Maybe this will be it. Oh, he's hovering over Gondola. Again. Uh, whatever, I'll take it. Okay, this time. It wow. Uh you don't have big guard. Immediately use big guard. You can use wait. Okay, that inflicts berserk, so I don't actually want to use that uh, against freaking against this guy. Uh I do, however, want to use bomb at zero. And then mine, Bahamut Zero. Hmm. Didn't think this one all the way through. Oi. Did not think this one all the way through. But who knows, maybe du the b double Bahamut combo will just, you know, kill it. No, no it won't. I'm pretty sure this is not its final resting place. I mean, I could be mistaken there, but I think it's supposed to be a little bit more toward closer to Cosmic Canyon. Ra rather than directly above Gondola. Howling Moon. Not against this guy. Hmm. I should, however... Oh, Regen, that's what I was gonna do. Okay. You know, I don't know if there's even any point in using Regen right now. I mean, frankly, he's probably about to run away again. Well, let's see. Did I do it? I guess... I guess we'll bust out Alexander next. Hmm. Then you mime this as well. Oh wait, no! I did that in the wrong order. I mimed Regen instead of Alexander. Damn it! Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Wait, no, I didn't even use Regen. I used Cure 3. I mean, honestly, that's probably more useful than miming Regen, but... Oh, and he's taking off again. Doesn't even matter. We did it! Except, not really. And he's gone again. 
Okay, we're gonna land briefly. First of all, because I want to heal red. And second of all, because I want to burn his limit break. Because <laughs> it is not wise to use it against ultimate weapon. So let's fight some frogs or something. Those are in this area, right? I called the frogs. That's for sure. Howling Moon! What an annoying configuration. Yep, Berserk, I'm pretty sure that gives him pace as well. And now he's a frog, so it doesn't matter. Uh... Oh, okay, I guess they're so weak that it doesn't matter anyway. Okay then, I can work with that! Just, just kill them, please. This was 100% just to burn the limit break, so... Although, in fairness, I do think I need- wait, no. When I started this, I may have needed one more battle in order to um, do the Chocobo breeding, but after these encounters with Ultimate Weapon, I'm pretty sure I'm good on that front. Okay, so you're once again not over Cosmo Canyon. Probably Midgar, but you know, we'll, we'll check up here. Sigh. You know, let's learn from our mistakes. I'll talk to you in a minute when I run into Ultima Weapon again. Welcome back! I've had no luck at all with getting... finding Ultima Weapon uh, for the third time, so I've decided to take a small detour and actually do my gold chocobo thing. Uh, yeah. We want to breed chocobo! This one... By the way, I did a, an extra three races with Blackie here, under the possibly erroneous assumption that it will produce a slightly better racer. Uh, we'll, we'll, well actually we, maybe we won't see. We probably won't see. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah. The important thing here is that we use a Zeonut. Well, that's a little anticlimactic. Achievement get, I suppose. Behold! The Golden Chocobo! It doesn't really look very different from a yellow one, does it? Uh, you shall be! Baco! The Chocobo. Well, Boko, really. Uh, yeah. Um... We are gonna feed Boko there all of the Silicus Greens. The implication here, incidentally, is that I will probably do some more Togo races off-screen, just, just to get items, really. Um... As many as I can. I mean, there is actually some more material in there that I would like, so... Yeah, pretty much. Okay, now 20 is definitely enough to max out the stats. Probably. Now, we will ride the Chocobo! Behold, the Golden Chocobo in all its majesty! Anyway, uh, enough, uh, uh, enough, uh, showing off. Uh, I, let's see, where's a good place for this? Uh, Cosmo Canyon, actually, is a good place for this. Uh, 
Who knows, maybe Ultima Weapon will be there this time. I wouldn't hold my breath, though. Nope. Not here. Right, uh, this is a good spot. The Gold Chocobo can even walk on the ocean itself! Which is convenient. Uh, because we can go this way. Let's, uh, let's use this view for now. Naturally, the Gold Chocobo's hidden area is in the ex exact, pretty much the exact corner of the map. Uh, did I, did I pass it? Well, it should be around here somewhere. Hmm. Man, I even flew over this once in the high wind off screen. How am I not finding it? It should be here! But it doesn't seem to be. Oh, oh, there it is! It's that damn clipping distance. Also, it is admittedly a little bit further from the corner than I had thought. You know, a little bit. Over the mountain, and nothing but forest. Behold, the ultimate sum- Well, again, ultimate is not really the correct word here. If anything, the ultimate summon material would be Master Summon, but I digress. Easily the most powerful summon material. Achievement get. It's sort of redundant to have an achievement for the Gold Chocobo and another achievement for this, considering this is basically the, the reward for the, the Gold Chocobo, but you know, anyway. Uh, we are going to throw that right on here. Kim Bahamut would be nice, but Knights of the Round. Minus 10 H MP, plus, they're minus 10% HP. Plus 8% magic. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that increases magic as much as this. Uh, with the obvious exception of M magic plus. Um, but more importantly, it's the truly massive damage it will deal. Anyway. Once again, I'm nearly at half an hour. Great. But, I don't want to stop until I've, I've killed Ultimate Weapon. So, on that note, I think I will cut off here, not the episode, just the commentary, until I find the damn Weepon again. I hate that guy. But, on the bright side, we'll be get to show off the, the best summon in the game once we do find him. Aha! Found you! So, it turns out I was actually slightly mistaken. You do, in fact, need to ram Ultima Weapon a number of times before it will stop flying around at random. So, you know, go figure on that one. Okay, you turned, and that means I need to ram you more. If I had rammed you a sufficient number of times, you would just go in a straight line. Kinda like this, actually. Are you going to gondola again? It looks like you are. Hmm. Oh! That's different. But it's not gondola, so, you know, figure that one out. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the second last time I battle you. Because I am pretty sure this will just plain... That this will pretty much end it. Do that. Do... KOTOR! What is that? Well, whatever it is, I absorb it. And then mimic Kotor! And then get comfy because this is gonna take a little bit. 
This is gonna take a while. Five thousand. That's a good base damage. As each of the next rounds, all in this case, thirteen of them whale on Ultima Weapon for five thousand apiece. And then it happens again because Cloud is gonna copy it. Let's see. This is around. Hmm. Actually, I'm trying to remember if Ultimate Weapon has 10,000 HP. Well, no. Obviously, he has more than 10,000 HP. I'm pretty sure he has 100,000. So, this would be, like, 6... 60? So, that is over half of his HP. So, yeah! Pretty sure the next time I fight him is gonna be the last time. I, I saw that clipping. Oh, I really need to... And he's gone again. And now I really need to replenish my MP, because Kodar costs so much. Hmm. I need to be careful, though, actually. Ultimate Weapon actually has an enemy skill, which I think he uses it when he's about to die, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's, let's save right now, and then if I don't get that that enemy skill, well, I'll probably be fighting him again off-screen so that I can get it. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, though. Hopefully. Okay, so... Maybe I'm really lucky and he just went straight there. Oh wow! It wasn't wishful thinking. He actually went straight here. I don't even really feel the need to use Kodor again, since, frankly, <laughs> that first one would have certainly taken away the vast majority of his life. Cannot reach my counterattack. Go figure. Um. Also, I really want to use Sid's Limit Break, if I can. So, you know, there, that's motivation as well. Um, right, maybe use a better healing ability? Oh, never mind. You cannot hit with that, um... Right, try. Oh, okay, that's what I was waiting for. Cloud, quickly, cure three! Sid, quickly- wait. Really, Cloud? Really? Whatever. Use High Wind! This is g probably gonna be interesting since we're literally standing on it. Um, I- I foresee a, a continuity error in her immediate future. Sid's final limit break is a missile barrage from the high wind. Oh, okay, he's using it. Great. Now I just needed to not kill Sid. Um. Wait, he only uses it once? I'm also not sure if I actually got that because Sid was. Hmm. I probably am gonna redo this. But yay, we did it! And we got Ultima Weapon, which as the name as you might guess is Cloud's best weapon. Or this is most powerful weapon. As is tradition, it scales with his HP. And on that note, I've been recording for the last 40 minutes, even though this episode is not gonna be nearly that long. So let's watch a big explosion, and then you know, leave.
Okay, uh... I feel like we were missing the explosion part of that explosion, but clearly one happened. In any case, uh... Join me next time when we do more stuff! Until then, this has been Kess Blue, and have a great day. Bye!